Hello there. Before we start the video let's know about Uptalk. Uptalk is a live, interactive platform for software training, furnishing robust personalities who could take on universal business platforms. This tutorial video is about Workday HCM Overview. Workday HCM is a cloud-based, human capital management software solution that integrates various human resource management functions into a single system. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel, and check out other videos related to the latest technologies on our Uptalk channel. This video will be covered by Mr. Daybashish, who is a certified trainer in Workday HCM. Let's welcome him and get started. Okay, guys, so let's start. Uh, I think we are good uh, and we can go ahead on the, uh, you know, the core concepts and navigation basics. So chapter one, basically it will help you to understand, first of all, uh, you know, what is Workday and uh, on what technology is Workday there and how exactly uh, it is benefiting the organization. Okay, I may have given you a brief overview when I was giving you the demo, but now we are going to understand this in detail. We don't, I don't have any PPT to talk about on this. It is all my experience, which I'm going to uh, share and discuss it with you. Okay. So coming on to Workday, when, when we talk about any HCM tool, HCM, as I stated, it's a complete employee life cycle from hire to retire. And we already have heard about the modules that you know, I was going to talk about. So every employee who is working in any organization actually have to go through all these modules sometime or the other in their career. It is not possible that you would not be touching it. Okay, so what are those modules? So first of all, when in terms of an, any organization or a company, when they are set up, okay, the first thing that they would set up would be your core HC. Now, why core HCM is required? Because that is the foundation or the basic setup which is required by any company to start their business. Okay. So, in this core HCM, we basically set up location. Then we actually go ahead and register a company. Then only you can set up a company because you need a valid tax ID, right? And with the valid tax ID, your company is set up then you can create different departments. Now you have your departments. So every department would have employees. So once those are set up, you would need actually a cost center. Cost center means you would need an entity which actually is going to manage your finances. So that is being controlled by cost center. So we are going to study this in chapter two, but I'm just giving you an overview right now. Okay, so once all these things are set up, then only you can start your business if you are actually going to use any HCM system. Without that also, there is no problem. You can continue your work. I mean, not every organization basically uses an HCM system, but now as there is a lot of compliance which has come in, right? Everybody has to follow that. And if you have to follow the compliance, you will have to use some or the other HCM tool. It may be workday, it may not be workday, but the concept of HCM will always remain same. It could be SAP, it could be PeopleSoft, it could be Fusion ERP, it can be Zoho, it can be anything, but there will be something which is there to help and manage your employees, right? And as I was talking, imagine that as a candidate, when you think that you are eligible for some job which you see somewhere, Let's say I'm, you know, uh, navigating through LinkedIn and I see there is a job which is relevant for me. I read the description. Now, this description is going to come from Core HCM because we will configure those descriptions and everything in the Core HCM. That data is actually moved to the recruitment module and that then only that data or that job description is being exposed to a portal. If you have an integration, let's say uh, you're using Workday and you're integrated with LinkedIn, that job will automatically move from Workday to LinkedIn for posting. That happens and that's the reason you see a lot of jobs that are available on LinkedIn. How? Because of integrations. Okay, 
so that data which I'm talking about moves from the core HCM to the recruitment module and from recruitment it goes to the different portals workday has its own portal also okay that also i will show you when we go into chapter four um now talking about workday as an application why this application is actually growing in the market so this application if i have to say is an application which is 100 percent on cloud 100 percent means there is no on-premise system at all but if you use any other application let's say you have sap or peoplesoft or uh, oracle fusion maybe you know you you have uh, uh, any other tool there will be some or the other element which you will have to install somewhere you will have to set up something in your system so that you can use it but for workday there is no as such any system required what you need you need a good internet connectivity you need a subscription and you need to know how you configure the system that's it the three things and you are good to use workday that's the reason it is so much in demand now what are the advantages why any cloud based application is growing at the moment in the market the first thing is it can be accessed from anywhere even you can use a phone and you can actually start using that okay and it gives you the flexibility if you are able to connect it from anywhere then you can work from anywhere that's the first thing that is required these days because of this pandemic and that's the reason this is growing okay then what are the advantages second advantage i would say is the cost because you don't have to set up an infrastructure previously what used to happen that uh, you know i i have to go ahead and install or start using an ERP system. So if I have to do that, I need a dedicated server for it. I need a place where I can actually install it. And then from there, I can distribute it to different client machines, which is all the users which are going to use it, right? So that was a painful task and expensive as well. Earlier, you have to buy the subscription of the software by the subscription means you have to get a copy of that application so that you can install it but these days there is no application which you want to buy it is basically going to be a subscription model how you use internet right you just need to pay for the license so if i'm trying to get license for my 200 employees i'll only pay five dollar per user that's it. I don't have to pay for infrastructure. I don't have to pay for my servers. I don't have to pay or, you know, make a team sit there to monitor the server so that it does not go down. Right. So these are the advantages. Again, flexibility. Second thing is your cost and ease of use. OK, and the fourth and the most important one, which is. The upgradation of the application every six months these applications will be upgraded automatically automatically what does that mean there will be a date which will be you know informed by workday to all their customers that okay during this period there is a downtime or there will be a downtime because we are going to go ahead and upgrade the system and they will give a release notes basically what upgrades are going to come what things are going to happen you will be getting it before then the upgrade comes in okay and the best part is you don't have to pay anything extra for your upgrade previously when we used to buy an application let's say it is on version 5 and if the company releases version 6 i have to go ahead and you know give extra money to buy that again but now these things have gone these things have changed that's the reason these these kind of products so this particular product is growing rapidly at the moment and i was talking about the market right so if you talk about us so 70 percent of the fortune thousand organization is already using workday they are all on workday and that's the reason you would see workday is growing rapidly in the european market and the apac market 
because their offices are not only limited to us but they are all across the globe so if they are all across the globe and if it is a fortune company a lot of company follows them they follow the footsteps right so they have targeted those customers who have impact in the market so that their product would grow and that's the reason you would see there is a surge of jobs in the emea region which is you know uk market or you know the the complete uh, european union market and then in the asia pacific if we talk about singapore australia new zealand or you know basically your indian market still you know you you are getting a lot of jobs in that area so that is the reason this product is growing and um, that that makes it very very good prospect for another 5 to 10 years i can say that okay 